Hi, Princess family. It's Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. I hope you're all doing well during these unprecedented times. Many of you shared feelings of heightened anxiety and stress, and I'm hoping this post and further posts to follow will help you enjoy better rest and sleep, which is critical to your health. Let me give you some of the best sleep-related home tips. First, getting enough good quality sleep is arguably one of the most important things for good health. But how does it affect immune function is an important question to answer. So let's do that now. There's actually no debate, sleep is a vital component of staying healthy. Sleep turns out to be necessary for your immune system to run as efficiently as possible. Sleep actually improves T cell production. T cells are the white blood cells that play a very critical part in our immune system's response to viruses. Sleep deprivation, meanwhile, actually stops T cells from responding efficiently and makes it more difficult for the body to fight back against these illnesses. The immune system's response time is also improved by just getting good sleep. By completing the four sleep cycles, you're supporting the release and production of something that's called a cytokine. This turns out to be a multifaceted protein that helps to help, actually helps your immune system quickly respond to antigens. Researchers from the University of California, San Francisco, highlighted this actually last year. Their findings indicated that poor sleep was the number one factor in determining whether someone would get sick after being exposed to the cold virus. By getting a full night of sleep, we help our bodies best fight back against potential threats. Here are our thoughts based on science on how to stay safe and healthy. So everybody ready? These are my seven steps to get a good night's sleep during a pandemic. Number one, give yourself an electronic curfew of about 90 minutes before lights out. This means a media diet before bed. You need some time to relax and de-stress. Try to remove blue light by wearing blue light blocking glasses. It'll help you wind down before bed and help your body produce melatonin on the proper schedule. Step number two, consider meditation or progressive re muscle relaxation before bed or while falling asleep. This can be a great help. Number three, compile a gratitude list in your mind while lying in bed in the dark. Many people think of stressful thoughts as they fall asleep, which kind of makes sense, right? I mean, it's the first time of day that you get to think by yourself, but this causes an increase in our fight or flight hormones. Thinking less stressful or more positive thoughts can help reduce stressful feelings and help with sleep. Believe it or not, it improves deep sleep and encourages more positive brains. Dreams, so gratitude. Keep your schedule consistent is number four. The more consistent your wake up time, the more consistent your overall body function. Avoid extra napping if you're home because that's gonna disrupt your nighttime sleep as well. Number five, lower stimulants and depressants, specifically caffeine and alcohol. If you're already stressed out, adding caffeine to the mix is not a great idea. It'll only increase unwanted side effects. Alcohol, while making you feel sleepy, remember, does not allow for quality rest, which in turn will make you feel even more stressed if you have a hangover the next day. It could also make you less able to fight a virus. Number six, take a hot shower or bath roughly 90 minutes before bed. Wash off all those germs and increase your core body temperature. Your core body temperature will decrease once you get out of the tub and help produce melatonin naturally. And number seven, make sure to keep your environment clean. If possible, use a filter for your bedroom air, wash your sheets at least twice a week in hot, hot water, and try to do an overall deep cleaning of your bedroom. I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. Sleep well, be well, and stay safe.